All right, so we're back for episode three of the challenges here. This is the last of the challenges that I've actually played while I was just testing this out this week. Uh, from here, we're going to be going into the blind challenges, but this particular one, will it ever end? It actually doesn't matter that I've seen it already because the nature of this challenge means that I don't know exactly what's going to go wrong. Um, and I don't want to necessarily spoil it. You can probably figure out by the title what it's going to be. Again, I just want to double check. I don't think there's anything that you can salvage. So before getting into this, I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing in the other two episodes, and I'm just going to prep the pod. So we're going to switch this out. Um, I'm not seeing any systems that are already switched on, but I have a feeling that maybe that happens automatically. I think all of the systems are complete in this case, so let's toggle this. I can't skip this cinematic, but just on the off chance that I get some people watching these videos out of order and they haven't seen Tin Can before, I'll leave it in there for the little bit of lore that's in the game. Um, okay, so all the systems do switch on. That is definitely the case. I did clean this out, right? Uh, this, I'm going to switch it off for now. Um, and I have a feeling that I may... Okay, so it's detecting an asteroid field and you should get a pretty good idea now if the challenge is called, will it ever end? Um, this is basically going to be an asteroid field followed by another asteroid field followed by another asteroid field and that pretty much keeps on going I guess until you get rescued. Um, so in this challenge especially it's really important that you get rescued as quickly as possible. What I'm doing here, and this is something that I like to do in the rescue challenges, um, I'm swapping out the battery that's in this because I don't really need gravity. It makes things a lot more convenient, um, but it's just, uh, it's not critical. Um, actually, I want to get rid of any batteries here that I can use for something else. So let's see, uh, oxygen system, I don't need this, I can survive without it because I can vent that manually. Uh, this one I did not take. And I kind of feel like I'm just gonna salvage this whole system. So literally everything. Okay, I don't really need the warning lights, I guess, but whatever, we'll take them. Air filter, pump, uh, power connector, nitrogen bottle, I'm not going to use that in any other systems. I don't think that can actually break, come to think of it. Um, okay, so what got damaged? Let's see if we can see any systems. Okay, I switched that off. Um, uh, do we have the repair box functional in this one? No, that's stripped out. So there's nothing I can do with that. We have the charger. This we may actually want to use at some point. Uh, what broke? Okay, so there's an error on this. Can't see what it is. Which probably means it's the data cable. I don't think I took out the da data cable from this one, did I? Let's see if that solves our problem. Yes. Okay, that was a quick fix. What else do we need to do here? Everything else seems to be functional. Um, how are we doing on oxygen? This I'll swap out after the sense. Okay, what just broke? At least this is still working, which is good. That's fine. Not seeing any other systems being offline. That's fine. What do we have? Damaged battery. Uh, this is the one system that we actually need a battery in. Well, potentially. If I can just keep it on the power, it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave that battery in there in case we actually lose this system. Um, not seeing... Okay, wow. The one system that's really critical now has a bad power connection. That is definitely going to be a problem. Okay, we need to we need to fix this now. 
Jeez, this is a uh, this is actually quite brutal. Uh, just want to check for any fires. Okay, we're gonna figure out what's wrong with that, but we need to fix this power connection first. That's done. That's a damaged part. We'll leave it on the bed. Um, bad master alarm. Not too worried about that. Definitely not on the gravity system. I will figure out if the gravity system is broken because I won't have gravity anymore. Um, okay, so it's not running on battery and it still has to damage battery, which doesn't matter that much. Uh, we're gonna swap out these bottles real quick. There we go. And that's the oxygen done as well. One of the things that you can really take advantage of, you can see the, the next one's already on its way here. Bad power transformer. Um, do I care in this case? Because system's still working. I'm guessing this is gonna start getting hot, maybe. Uh, but I mean, if the system's still functional and does it have a fuse, it does have a fuse. So if something goes wrong, that'll blow out the system. I don't have all that much use for the main computer anyway, other than telling me which systems are offline. It's just gonna keep telling me that we have asteroids incoming. Um, Okay, we, we're about halfway through here, so we have a really good chance of making it all the way through this. Uh, how many batteries do I actually have here for? Yeah, that's pretty decent. Batteries, full batteries are super useful. You really don't want them in systems where you're not gonna use them. In fact, let's get one more because they can replace a system that has a broken transformer, power connector, plus fuse. None of those things matter if you have a battery because it gives you the perfect power output. This now has a bad power transformer. This one I actually do want to replace. Um, why is it not opening all the way? Okay, I don't think we need it to. Uh, we do have a spare. So, if I can get in here. Okay, it's not... <laughs> For whatever reason, that is stuck now. Wait. Uh, I just confused myself. Let's see if I got the right one in there. Yes. All right, what was that? Uh, first things first, let me get this out of here. Um, what's broken? Do we still have the main computer? That's got a damaged battery and power transformer. Still don't care. Uh, I think we're still fine. Three minutes. Okay, we've got a hole. Uh, and it's over there. Sound is really critical to... Just listen for holes where you're losing atmosphere or fires. This is still fine. Really, the two systems, carbon dioxide is the most important system. You always have to keep your eye on that because that'll kill you pretty quickly if it's not working as it should. Um, I need to get rid of some of these alarms so that I can actually see when something breaks. That's fine. These are still fine. I think because we've been able to keep this on, we should get rescued somewhere during the third storm or field, asteroid field. Uh, there's another hole, okay. Plug that. Wait, I, I feel like I, oh wait, there's something else. Um, when the air filter is not clean, you can actually hear that. You get like a, you can sort of hear it getting clogged up. Uh, okay, so we're just quickly gonna swap this out, hopefully for the last time. And I know I just cleaned that, but we'll do it again. Get that in there. And just for good measure, since we're almost at the end here, uh, we're just gonna give it a battery that isn't broken. So that's fine. Um, 
in fact, we're so close to the end here. Um, where is my... Oh yeah, this is still running good. We've got one minute. Uh, so I may as well put batteries into all of the systems. That's going to help us survive. Um, ordinarily, I wouldn't do this. Oh, that's already got one. Uh, but I don't really need these anymore. So let's put one in here as well. I really won't need that. I've got the flashlight anyway. But uh, just something to keep busy. Um, how are we doing here? 20 seconds. Gary? Okay. Can you hear me? It's me. I'm aboard the rescue ship. We're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're going to bring you home, alright? That should be it. Perfect. So that's the third challenge done. Um, these three challenges I have played before, the ones that are coming up, I'm going to be playing blind, so maybe that'll be a little bit harder. Uh, I have no idea if these get progressively harder as we go. So uh, to come back for those, um, I'm going to try to space these out like one day at a time. But as always, if you like these videos, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video.